Hi Andy, lovely to meet up with you at the range and start to do some work on your swing. Just a quick recap on the key points that we covered. Um, relating to the shot pattern you were hitting, first of all you hit a lot of shots that start left, uh, then pull or draw left. Uh, alternatively can bleed off to the right depending on what club you're hitting. Uh, that's typical of someone who is closing the club face down too much. Angle of the club face projects the golf ball, so the ball will start in the direction of the club face. It will then bend away from the path when a player is releasing the golf club. He's both closing the club face down and shifting the path to the left. As a result of that, you can then start to see some other things in the swing, like the shoulders steepening and the pelvis coming in towards the ball. Uh, to try and prevent the path going going left and help the path go more to the right. Unfortunately, that's very, very difficult to time. Uh, if it doesn't work out well, uh, it can become a very colourful experience during a round of golf. So, relating to the, goal, to the ball flight, we want the club face to be presented slightly open, let's say two degrees to the right, and we want a path that's slightly further right, let's say four degrees to the right. That will give us a beautiful little draw shot every time. So, how are we going to achieve that? Well, first of all, with yourself, we're going to try and alter the foot position. You can see here it's set up the difference between the two. The first thing I've asked you to do is turn the feet out maybe 15 to 20 degrees. It felt strange at first, but I think you can appreciate when you look at those two images, uh, top and bottom, uh, there's a big difference in the overall look of your setup. Looks much more athletic on the bottom, looks much more balanced, the knees are now turned out, much stronger position, uh, much more like you're going to be seeing with people like Woods, etc. over the course of the next few years. With the feet turned out more, that's going to improve your ability to turn the hips during the backswing, which in turn will help keep you a little bit more centred, rather than drifting off at a touch like we see at the top. Now that's big, powerful turn, definitely more turn and less slide. We're also starting to see now a little bit of a change in the hips. Here we've got the hips quite level. Here we've got the hips turning on a little bit more of a tilted angle, which is perfect. That's exactly what they should do. Because the feet are turned out, we can now both turn through the ball and slide better during the downswing. So what we're seeing here is the left leg posting up very quickly and what we're seeing here is the left knee maintaining its flex for a little bit longer. Hips moving forward more. So you can see the centre of the hips now. Much more further forward than it was at the start of your session left knee moving out in front of the left ankle much better. That's the linear movement that we're looking for. That's going to really tighten the radius of your swing, improve your quality of strike and also your ability to hit out at the golf ball. From the position we're in now, left leg posting up, hunching up through impact. much better impact position, could still get the handle further forward but that will come as you become better at doing the other pieces in your swing. Through impact, again looking a little bit left leg bracing very quickly, left leg bracing in a more appropriate manner and if we look at that point now we can see that we've been hitting out at the golf ball for longer. Bottom and top. And all that's really been set about by moving the feet. But set up. Overall much better. I think the position I like the best, the most improved, is your delivery position. If you look at these two, I mean, that's a massive improvement. Everything about the bottom picture is better than the top. Far, far better. Good work on that, just by turning the feet out a little bit. Then we talked about on the way through, 
the club face closes down a little bit too much we gave you the drill to try and prevent that happening see they're looking down the club right heel popping up the most and then really rotating over now because as we've seen on that first footage more forward movement in the swing the heel doesn't pop up as much and it certainly doesn't rotate around as much during the follow through so feet out is one key thought for you big 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 key thought for you that one and control the rope the rate of closure on the club face try and get that cane in front of you starting the ball to the right massive improvements there Andy and look forward to working with you again in the coming weeks well